What's up guys, Matt here, MixingMasterMyStone.com. Now, I do understand the title of this video is a bit clickbaity. However, this new compressor uh, by Matthew Lane called Tico is really quite amazing on drums. It also sounds great on a host of other applications like vocals, bass, and stereo bus. What I like most about this plugin is the ease of use. It has two knobs and a few different options, and that's it. I really like plugins that are simple to use. You can get to your destination very fast. The second reason I like it is the ability to add character to the compressor. Now, the one, one side of it is the compression, the other side of it is the character, and you can get more air or a little more saturation or whatever you're looking for, and I love that ability to do that with a compressor. In today's video, we will go over how the compressor works, which will be very quick and simple, <laughs> and then we'll check it out on bass, drums, stereo bus, and vocals. Before we do get started, please make sure to like and subscribe. Let's go. All right guys, so here is Tico. And the reason it's called Tico is because you have two knobs basically. You have tightness and contour. So in other words, this is kind of your compression and how hard it's hitting the compression. And contour is the different characteristics and flavors it has, okay? Next, you have a dry, wet knob, which is amazing just to have on every compressor should have that more and more so that's happening now. Um, and then you have a gain, output gain, or you know you can turn it down or up depending on what you want to do because sometimes the contour will bring more level up as well. And then lastly, the only final switch except these, which we'll get into, is this. You can switch this so the contour goes before tightness like this or the way it defaults where tightness goes to contour. And lastly, just an on and off switch, which is the same as bypass. Now, where this thing gets really interesting is cool is these different options of compression and these different options of contour. Um, let me bring up the manual because I can't remember it and it's a lot easier to show you guys. So these are the different kinds of tightnesses you can use. Um, bold, for instance, is what I've been using on drums with this thing. And it actually says it's great on drums and piano and more. Um, but then also I've been a big fan of nitrogen. If you want to warm something up, this sounds great. The titanium, titanium is great on mix bus and stuff that you don't want to make it sound too uh compressed but like just gives it a nice little tight sound um and then of course smash is really good for that new york style compression if you want to do parallel compression now the contours part is actually what i really even like even more than just the compression part is because you can add a little more to your compressor with the contour so big fan of this fire i've been using this on drums and vocals sometimes it just like it puts it right in your face which is true wood is fantastic for drums and kicks um, mercury is really good for um, mix bus and i'm going to show you guys you know all these examples and then carbon i've been digging a lot for um for bass which is what it's actually works really well for so let's dig into this thing so you guys can hear it in action um, first, I'll just show you the guys this kick drum. I'm just going to do a quick loop so you guys can really hear uh, it in action. I'm going to mute the music and the vocals for now. And what I got going is the TI Bold um, and then the Fire, which is off right now. I just want you guys to hear the compression, and then I'll, I'll, I'll crank the Fire up, and we'll go through some of these different settings just on the kick um, before we move on. So right away you hear it just punches right out. It's really good for when you need that extra punch. Now, like all compression, we do hear that we lose a little bit of low end, but you can bring that back with the fire or one of the other things or the mix knob just to kind of mix it in. But sometimes you don't really need that low end punch when you got the low the, the 808 going or the bass going. I mean, I'm sorry, not the punch, the low lows when the eight and the bass are going. So just getting that, like it's so good at just getting that punch right away with one knob and there you are. Now let's play it and I'll bring up this fire so you guys can hear what this is doing too. Now see how much that changed? These two knobs have changed our sound thing is sick for that let's check it out with wood i'm gonna bring it back down and bring it back up and you'll hear you'll start getting more of a knock uh back with the wood with the wood contour
Now that's amazing, right? So we brought that all up. We got our, our little punchy kick transient going, but now we brought back some of our good lows with a mix knob at 50%, and this kick just sounds 10 times better to me. And, and that's what I was saying. It's one of the best drum compressors I've found. You can really dial stuff in and just get a good, good kick sound if you need you know, a little extra. I'm really, really fast with this thing. So that's why I said it really is one of the better drum compressors I've used in a long time. Let's check it out on bass now. Uh, we'll loop this little 808 bass. So here we're using bold again. I really like bold for, for drums and bass and stuff. And then we're switching the contour to carbon. Now, just a reminder, carbon is tight harmonic rich lows with ex, uh, experienced bass even on small speakers, which we always are all looking for with 808s. So let's check this out um, with it and then without it. Really pretty amazing what it did to that bass, right? This thing is sick. Now, lastly, let's check out, um, not lastly, let's check it out on vocals and then we'll do it on the master bus just so you guys can hear it in a couple different uh, ways. Now, here we're using oxygen, which is a different compressor, compression, ugh, excuse me, compression setting. Um, oxygen is airy, smooth compression, your ticket for that nice upfront vocal. And then we're using co air, contour air which is airy top frequency opener, just the sparkle you need for any sound of a mix. Um, so let's check this out with the vocal. Let me bring my vocals back in. I'll bring the music back in too, just so we have everything. Big, when you call me, got me stressed out. Get them off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm big, when you off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always on. So let's hear it with it. Off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always so maybe it was a little too much air, so you can bring that down. Now another thing that sounds really good on is fire with vocals sometimes. Let's check it out with this. Off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always off me, I'm fine to the next spot. So, so many different, and that's why I love this thing, once again, so many different options you can do really quick to see what will sound best. Um, and it doesn't take much time to get a bunch of different flavors. So lastly, before we sign out here, let's check it out on the mix bus. So I actually replaced it with my Unisum that I usually have. Um, and this might actually be a full-time replacement. We'll see. Uh, my, it works better on certain things. So here we have titanium, which is uh, just a classic type compressor. And then cobalt, which is solid lows and rich present top. Uh, so that's what we're using here. So let's check this out. Call me, got me stressed out. Get them off me, I'm fine to the next spot. I'm always on the run. Some people act like you live more than once, but you don't. So you can hear just how that opened everything up and sounds it sounds just really good. Amazing, amazing compressor. So that's that for Tico by Matthew Lane. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like this compressor. Um, it's not, you know, I, I review a lot of plugins, but this one really spoke to me. I even hit up Matt and I was like, man, this thing sounds really good. Let me check it out. So check it out on your own. There's a demo for 14 days. Let me know what you guys think of it. If you need your song mixer mastered, hit me up at mixermastermystone.com. You can also check out my courses there too. Talk to you soon.